presentation of TFNN. The Tom O'Brien Show is produced every business day. Tom takes your phone calls toll-free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Let's go to uh, Phil in Puerto Rico. Hey, Phil, what's going on? Hey, Tom, doing great. Um, just wanted to thank you guys and the whole crew. Best content on the internet. Really appreciate everything you guys are doing. We appreciate you growling and prowling with us out here. Phil, how did you find us? I just typed in live trading in YouTube one morning. Cool. I was looking for any type of live trading room you guys came up in. Awesome. I know the quality when I see it, or at least I like to think so. And uh, I mean, you guys are just a dream. I appreciate everything well, you guys do. Welcome to the Tiger family. We appreciate your growling uh, problem with us. Uh, my pleasure. Now, Tom O'Brien. <laughs> Welcome, folks. This is Tom O'Brien of TFNN. We go five days a week. We go seven hours a day. We go 24 hours a day in the internet at TFNN.com. Always remember, folks, whatever you think about, you bring about whatever you focus on grows. Hope everyone's having a great day, safe day. It's making a great night and a great week. Your love is responsible for its actions. Everything you think, everything you do has a consequence, and you're going to experience the consequences of your actions in one way or another. All human beings are completely responsible for their actions, even if they don't want to be. Market-wise, let's take a look at it out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 345, Nasdaq's off 108, S&P's off 34. Gold, gold contract down $10.70, trading at 1916 an ounce. We have, sil uh, yeah, we have silver down 48 cents, $22.91, an ounce, light sweet crude, up 22 cents, 72 dollars, one penny a barrel, notes and bonds. 10-year note, down 24 ticks, trading 110.19. The 30-year is off a full point, plus seven ticks at 124.01 in King Dollar. King Dollar is down 229 ticks, trading out at 103.144. The Euro is 108. The yen's 144, and the British pound is at 127 to 1 US dollar. Our phone number is 877. 9276648. Give us a call, folks. Want to know what's going on in your world? In the world of the SPs, let's take a look at them. What do you have? Well, you heard the update. We've got an ABC structure intraday on the way up, and a couple of targets are wondering where it is. So you got to do this on I use 10 minute bars. And bottom line is that I've been, well, I've been using them forever. Um, you had two different things happen out here today, which is pretty cool. Down at the lows, if you basically, I was talking about last week, how you do the correlation between the DAX and our futures period, okay? So the bottom line is that, you know, even before the open, it looks to me like the futures were going to go down about 50, okay? We got 60. That being said, that bottom line, you can see the last time there was any selling on the way down in the futures was 44.35, and we went to 44.19, okay? So then on the way back up, what you had, you almost had an ABC structure on the way back up at uh, 1250. 1250, we did 19,000 contracts, and that was taken out uh, 24. But and at the beginning of that run there, okay, the bottom line looked like it was going to have it, uh, make it, but it didn't. It pulled back. It pulled back with uh, 14,000 light volume. Then Big Ming, it took it out. 24,000, taken out the 17,000. That's where I'm getting that number of uh, 4470. Now, let's go over to the NQs. I didn't do the NQs yet because I'm trading the S&Ps, but let's go. I always look at both of them, okay? So, we go into this one. Pull this back. Okay. So, you needed 67, and you got 72. So, it's the, it's the same. It's, there's another ABC structure inside the NQs, too. So, you get 15,239 is your B. It's a straight line move, which is pretty wild. 15,113 is your A. So you get 126 A to B. And yeah, it's up here. So plus your C is 15,212. 15,211, rather. That's 15,337. That'd be a trip. 15,000. 337. You want to remember this also, though, um, going into tomorrow, if we don't get it today. Then do the Qs, because you have harmony here. Harmony in the marketplace is here, meaning 
that this, this, you know, there's still buyers here. This is a, okay, so let's see. We needed 546,000. Yeah, and it had 615. So if you're trading the Qs here, this is how this goes. 367.60, 367.60, your B, your A here is 364.57. 67, so we get a 293. Your C is uh, it's plus 36693. 366, uh, 366, 366.93. What did I say the A to B was? Damn. Okay, one second. 366.83. Uh, I gotta do it again. Sorry. 367. Not like doing this on the fly, right? Minus uh, three sixty four fifty seven. Okay, three oh three. Three oh three. Plus three sixty six ninety three. Plus three sixty six ninety three. This three sixty nine. Three sixty nine. Q Q Q equals three six nine point nine three. Bingo. It's going to be a trip. So and if we if we take a look at the cues, the way the cues are set up, you can see that, you know, the, the, the gap in the cues is 364.89. We went to 364.52. You had volume there, 46 million and 52 million. And you're going to go into it. With, well, we're going to go into about 50 million. But you're going to, it looks to me like you're going to get a rejection of lower price you're going to have lighter volume all of the above that means higher we still go we go take a look at the uh gold contract gold contract right now you're down 10 bucks you're trading two with 224 221,000 contracts that's coming into 205 i'm glad i didn't hit the bottom of that i can tell you that uh, we only hit, we hit 1908 and rejected 1908 or 1916. And then if you go over to the dollar, now see, this is when you, you put a few things together, folks, okay? Because you had the market down good, you know, but the bottom line is that the dollar had already given it up on price, you know, before we even opened. You know, the dollar had hit a high of 103.572, but guess what, man? It couldn't hold price. So you want to always pay attention to that, you know, if you're basically intraday trading. You can see the last time that we were up there, it couldn't hold price at the 103, 543. Couldn't hold price up there today at a, a lower 103, 572. That's saying that guess what? The lower part of the swing area, that's where it wants to go. We gotta take a look at the 10 year. The bottom line is the 10 year. We had a high today, uh, a low today of uh, 11005. And this one, you know, that went down to the very, I think it basically bro it broke every swing. Yeah, it did. So this guy get back inside 110.27. That's how this shakes out. Stay right there, folks. We're coming right back with our man, Mr. Tim Ward. Our phone number is 877-927-6648. We have the uh, Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 359. NASDAQ's off 118. S&Ps are off 37. We're coming right back. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers. TFNN, educating investors. Currencies, commodities, and bond markets are as important as ever right now with how they're driving the volatility in equity markets across the globe, which is why it's a great time to try out Teddy Kegstat's Tiger Forex Report. Teddy Kegstat breaks down the Forex markets every Monday using his 30-plus years of experience as a trading veteran of futures, Forex, stocks, and options. Teddy releases his weekly Tiger Forex Report every Monday morning with coverage of all the major currency pairs, including the dollar index, the euro dollar, pound dollar, dollar Swiss, dollar yen as well as many more and he also has weekly coverage of the crude oil market and the 30-year t-bonds as they both influence forex markets tremendously 
When you sign up for the Tiger Forex Report, you also gain instant access to Teddy's 60-minute webinar archive he just hosted, Forex Strategies and Fundamentals, What is Behind the Tiger Forex Report. For all the details and to start your 30-day Tiger Forex Report subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com, educating investors. Call now, toll free at 1-877-927-6648. Internationally at 727-873-7618. Welcome back, folks. So we have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now are trading down 354. We get the Nasdaq off 120. S&Ps are off 36. Let's get over to our man, Mr. Tim Ward, as we do each and every Thursday at 20 past the hour. And don't forget, folks, you can reach Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D, dash oracle.com. That's Ord, dash oracle.com. Tim Ord, what's going on? Well, I sent you over five charts. Did you get them? I sure did, man. Of course, yeah. <laughs> All right. It's a yeah, this is starting to be interesting now. What's it going is. on here? Um, we'll do the chart number one. We'll kind of look look at the bigger time frames, and we'll kind of hone it down. Okay. To the smaller time frames, but you know, chart one. Uh, this is a weekly uh, SPY is going to uh, back to I don't know 2017, and I marked the times when the uh, in the pink areas there, yes, or red lines, whatever. Those times when the 63-day average of the trend hit one or lower, and each, you know, and this chart goes back, you know, um, what, 2000, so what about seven years or whatever, six years? Yes. And each each time it's got down to to one or lower on the 63-day uh, average, the mark was nearing a high, and so matter of fact, last uh, January 2022, uh, it got. I marked it there in, in right, light uh, pink, and I picked out that high. Actually, the market was kind of going down, and the trend was not going up, and that was a really a, a bearish sign. So, Okay. Um, anyhow, currently, we're at one, and anything one or below is usually on the intermediate term time scale, since it's a weekly chart, we could be heading for trouble. Doesn't okay. mean we will, because the market still can go up, but... Uh, it's a warning sign. That's all it is. There's right. no sell signal here. It's just a warning sign. Uh, so now, if we can, we flip to uh, chart two. Okay. There we are. And oh, this and this uh, the bottom window is the SPX VIX ratio. There's no five week moving average, and it's on a weekly time frame also. 
so I'm still in the wiki time frame, kind of looking what the market's doing. And uh, the SBX VIX ratio, if you notice, all those tops going back to uh, 2018, when the S&P made a higher high and the SP, SPX VIX ratio made a lower high, that's a divergence, and that's something to warn that you're probably going into some sort of a high. And the important thing I want to point out here, if you notice the market on a weekly time frame really hasn't changed much over the last uh, month. I mean, we're off a little bit from the highs, but not much. But if you look at the SPX VIX ratio uh, currently, which is in light blue there, yes. circled in red, we really took a big dive on that ratio. Um, right. So that's really a warning sign. Last time we did something like that came in at the 2022 high and also back at the uh, uh, two, uh, 2022 high and also back at the 2022 high or 20 high. Okay. Both the uh, that ratio took. So to me, uh, this is a really a, kind of a warning. Um, so J- July, actually, if you do seasonality work, July 27th all the way to October, uh, I think, 7th or 27th is the weakest period of the year senior, senior uh, seasonality-wise. And so we're not quite there yet as far as seasonality goes, but we're starting to get warning signs on the 63-day average of the trend. And now the SBX VIX ratio is also uh, uh, showing possibly divergence. Which so, is pretty cool because I, we're only 5, 10, we're only... 16 trading days away from that date. Right, right. It. Yep. So, but what's what's important here now? I'm thinking the market's still going to hit another new higher high. Okay. Probably this month. Yeah. Um, and I'll show you why on the next chart. Okay. But if we go up and hit an, another higher high in the in the coming weeks, I think probably could happen next week. And this SPX VIX ratio makes a lower high. Right. Then that, to me, is the time to really look seriously for a, a worthwhile high. Yep. And so uh, the next week, maybe two weeks, will tell the story. And if you, you flip to the next chart, so now we're, now we're to, down to the days here. But uh, uh, if you notice, going into this Monday, we were five days up in a row. Um, I, I keep track of those days. When yes. Five days in a row, the market... Uh, we'll make a higher high within five days, 85% of the time. Last time we had something like this, we were up six days in a row going into uh, mid-June. Uh, and I was saying on your show that we should make a higher high within five days. Well, it never made a higher high in five days, but it did make a higher high, you know, like about 10 days. Uh, so don't know if this 85% chance will make a higher high within the next five days. In other words, a uh, week from Monday... Um, a week from this Monday, which would be next Monday, would make a higher high. Don't know for sure that's happened, but probably you got really an 85% chance we'll make a higher higher high probably within a, a few days. And if you notice, today we went back and tested the gap area um, that we had, uh, see, Monday be last Friday. The market yeah. had a big day up and uh, created a gap. We're testing that gap. When I sent this chart to you, the trend at the time was 2.11 with 1,028 downtick readings. Now, that was early this morning. But the important thing here is is how the volume, the volume to close that gap and for the market to continue lower has to be equal volume compared to where the gap was. Well, the gap uh, had uh, like close to over 100 million shares, and we're not even coming close to that. So probably... If you test the gap on at least 10% lighter volume, that gap's going to act support. Right. We also have uh, ticks and trend here, at least in the morning. I haven't checked them here in the last couple of hours, but most likely we'll have a high trend reading today and also probably a high tick, suggesting that gap has support. And with the five days going higher and predicting the market will be higher within a week, maybe a week and a half, uh, there's a good chance we're probably going to hit a higher high. We find gap support. we got panics and ticks and trend. Uh, so there's quite a bit of evidence that, you know, we're going to at least touch a new high uh, probably next week. Uh, so that would be kind of um, important. So going back to the chart number two, go back there. So that's the reason why I think we're going to hit another higher high. Okay, chart two, and Tim, with, is the yeah. – one second. 
Okay. Yeah, chart two. Yep. Now uh, going back to that, so if we hit a higher high on the S and P, that ratio on the bottom does not hit a higher high. In other words, it makes a lower high, and that's the divergence on the weekly time frame. And the weekly right. time frame uh, suggests, you know, we we could have a uh, some sort of a high that could last weeks, you know, because you're dealing with a weekly time frame. Right. So, um, yeah, don't just, know if that's just, all going to happen, but it yeah, could. and you know that t- that uh, trend reading, you know, I mean, we we hit. We hit 209, what, 209, we hit at 10 o'clock, and then we hit uh, 207, you know, 20 minutes later. Stay right there, folks. Tim and I are coming right back. The Gold Report. As a precious metal, gold is still king. It continues to hold the most effective safe haven and hedging properties across the global major trading hubs of the London OTC market, the U.S. futures market, and the Shanghai Gold Exchange. The Gold Report. Tom O'Brien publishes his weekly Gold Report every Monday morning for subscribers, consisting of coverage of the XAU, HUI, GDX, the dollar, bonds, the South African RAND, as well as 25 different mining equities with specific buy-sell recommendations. The Gold Report. New subscribers get a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. Subscribe to Tom O'Brien's Gold Report newsletter now at TFNN.com. Sharpening your skills as an investor is like getting better at playing a musical instrument. You have to practice, sure, but you also need excellent instruction from experts. At TFNN, you'll get advice and guidance from the authority in technical market analysis. And it's not just dry, tedious text either. TFNN airs live financial content streamed live on TFNN.com and TFNN's YouTube channel with Tiger TV. Live every market day from 8.30 a.m. to 4 p.m. Eastern. For free, each host is an experienced trader and gives their take on the market while taking calls and questions live from around the world. From the moment the market opens until the closing bell sounds, Tiger TV has eight different shows with expert hosts to help you make the right moves with your money. Watch online at TFNN.com or on TFNN's YouTube channel and become the investor you were born to be. TFNN, educating investors. TFNN has just launched their new trading room, The Tiger's Den, hosted at Discord. TFNN has been educating traders for more than 20 years with live programming hosted by a variety of professional traders during market hours. And now they are expanding their reach with The Tiger's Den, available to all tigers and tigresses for just $1 for the year. There's no catch or added costs when you join our community of traders. In The Tiger's Den, you can look over the shoulders of Tom O'Brien and the other TFNN hosts while they analyze charts during their live Tiger TV programs and join an interactive trading community with hundreds of members exchanging ideas. Interact with other Tigers and Tigresses as they share trading ideas, news analysis, and discuss the market action all trading day, even at night and on the weekends. The Tiger's Den at Discord is accessible on mobile or tablets as well, so it's always at your reach. To sign up today and become a part of this educational community of traders, just visit the front page of TFM. NN.com. This segment is brought to you by Think or Swim. For more information, just click the Think or Swim banner on the front page of TFNN.com. Oh, welcome back, folks. Uh, Tom O'Brien, Tim Wood. We do appreciate your growl and a problem with us out here. We have the Dow Industrials down 356. NASDAQ's off 113. S&Ps are off 37. You know, Tim, um, it'd be pretty cool. You know, we have the downdraft today, right? It comes into the gap, yeah. and then you reach a higher high because what would end up happening is that the next downdraft, the whole world will think, okay, this is going to get shaken off too, right? <laughs> and and that's the one that does it probably, right? If we're getting closer right. to that's, a high, yeah. Right, yeah. So, you know, I'm looking at the trend right now. Is putting, uh, we're talking here, I got a 1.49 trend and a 284 down tick reading. Uh, so if we close there, you know, we've got a, quite a bit of information that you're, you're hitting support. And if you look, if you 
you compare the volume to that gap of last Friday's up. Yes. You know, we're testing that gap on a on you know a heck of a lot lighter volume. The day's not over yet, but we're not going to reach the volume we had last Friday where the gap occurred. Right. So there's information. Plus, there's five days up going into last Friday. Yes. And that predicts market will be higher, you know, 85% of the time within, you know, five, but probably next week sometime. Right. So there's quite a bit of information that you're probably hitting sport right here, right now. And uh, and we'll probably see a rally new highs and, you know, you may see all the hoopla. But the key will be uh, on that chart number two on the SPX VIX ratio on the weekly time frames. Okay. So if you make a higher high and that ratio makes a lower high, just like in the past, yeah, uh, you know, you'll have a divergence and you'll have some sort of a, a correction. How big the correction will be, I don't know. I mean, if I think the worst case scenario, if you draw a, a trend line right around that 120 on the SPYs, that's pretty that's pretty good support in that range because that's approximately where all the previous highs were. So to me, that's about the worst case scenario. Then from oh, there, that, that, I think this the, year. Uh, what was uh, the number again on the spy? Right around 120 area, if, if you, yeah, it's a little bit less, probably 117. Oh, you're before, talking about the uh, ratio, though, right? Uh, I'm sorry, 420. 420. No, you have people, people already just jumped out windows, Tim. <laughs> <laughs> Holy kid. Yeah, sorry, 420. <laughs> you know, probably 417, 418. Yeah, yeah, no, I get it. I get it. I love it. <laughs> so, uh, <laughs> You gotta oh, love God. it. Yeah, I see it. Oh yeah, 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 yeah. Let me put that up. Cool, man. Okay. Yep. And so, but anyhow, that's that's uh, to me that's the worst case scenario, and you know, we'll get you know the market will beat itself up between now and you know if seasonality sure. works out. You know, this could run into October. You know, mid October, maybe September. I don't know. Uh, well, you, you know, know what's so the, cool, the man. Whole thing is just like you know last time. You know, once you get near lows, you know panic is happening and the, the more panic you get the better it is for the market yes the panic's like fuel so yes whatever that correction be once you start seeing where the panic is uh on the you know the trend and the ticks and you know and right. whatever uh that's where sports coming in at and so we had a lot of panic around that 117 to one or excuse us uh 417 to 420 area yeah and probably once you have panic in a certain area that panic will Re reform or reform or form again at that level. So I'm thinking 420 is, yes. is a pretty good. Because that when you did when you did the workshop you know, for us, we don't have a top yet. So. No, I know when you did the workshop. That's exactly what you explained and how many times it came down to that level. What's so cool about what you do, Tim, is that you know you, you ha we have that number, but then you have the verifications on the ratios also. You know to, to bring your probability up that okay. You know, here we go. We're, we're coming into a low again. And on the opposite side, it's just like this, is that, okay, you know, we know how deviant the market is, <laughs> meaning that, yeah. you know, just like I said, you come down here, then all of a sudden, you know, you go up, you take it out, and then all of a sudden you get down and the whole world, as I said, is just going to say, oh, no, 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 we're going to just keep going when that will be the, you know, the other side of it. So pretty cool. Right. Yeah. Yeah. So uh, we, we can cover. Uh, if you want to go on, or we have questions about the, these graph or these charts, or we can just go on. No, these want. are. The, I think it's explained is great. Okay, so I'm ready to go on. Which one would you like? Uh, let's see, we, we got five charts. So be chart number four. Okay. Yeah, this this will make life simple here. Yep. Uh, this this is a 50 day average of the uh, advanced decline for GDX, advanced decline percent. For GDX, uh, that's the uh, second window below the GDX chart. And the bottom window is GDX up-down volume with 50-day average, and that's percent. So in a nutshell, whenever the bottom window, which is the up-down volume, 50-day average, the up-down volume, advanced climbing indicators, gets below minus 20, the market's at support. Doesn't mean it's going to go up, but we're at support. And that happened every time going back to 2000. Uh, so quite a few times there, the red line show the times when that happened. And back in uh, mid-June, the 50-day uh, the average up-down volume uh, percent hit below minus, minus 20, uh, just like the other time. So, either, so now we're either flipped sideways or we go up. So that's your choices. You know, 
you don't get another choice that the market's going to go down. Market's done going down. Yeah. So now you you go to another chart, and that's chart number five. And I uh, probably should have took it back further. But anyhow, the bottom window is the 18-day uh, average of the advanced decline. The next higher window is the 18-day uh, or yeah, 18 day average of the up-down volume. In a nutshell, when both those indicators are above minus 10, the market is in an uptrend. When both those indicators are below minus 10, the market is in a downtrend. And the uptrend identified with uh, blue and the downtrend identified with light pink. Okay. And um, so right now we've been, we've been uh, both of them have to go above minus 10 to get the rally going. And yesterday or the day before we did close above minus 10 on both of them. And today we're back below minus 10 on both of them. Well, we're not going to keep going down because the 50-day average says we're at the bottom, so we're flipping sideways. Yeah. So uh, so either we're, we're going to go sideways here a little bit longer uh, or we're going to start closing above minus 10. But as long as both those indicators close above minus 10, the uptrend's intact. Uh, so now we, we're kind of bouncing around at that minus 10 range. And so we're not really going down. We're not going up. We're kind of going sideways. But... Once you stay above minus 10 on both indicators, the uptrend will continue. Uh, well, so. you know, it's interesting, Tim, because the gold market loves doing that too, man, going sideways, drive everyone out of their minds, right? And then all of a sudden it takes right. off. Right. Yeah, right. Yeah, then it takes off. And so I'm kind of watching this indicator. I was kind of bullish yesterday. Well, it didn't happen. You know, now we're below 10. Well, ironically, seasonality uh, flips bullish on, uh, on uh, gold starting uh, – July 7th, you know, this is over like 50 years, so it's yes. like that July 7th could be July 1st all the way probably to end of July right. on a seasonality scale, but sure. July 7th historically is past that number has been bullish for uh, gold and runs into July 27th, or not July 27th, but October 27th. Yeah. So it starts July 7th and runs to October 27th. Just the opposite of, of the gold market. Right. Or uh, of, of the equity market, which is buried in that time frame. Which is really cool. Well, listen, Tim, yeah. this is always a pleasure. Don't forget, folks, you can uh, get Tim every trading day at Ord, O-R-D dash oracle.com. He's on every Thursday. It's a great newsletter. Go, so go check it out. Tim, you have a great one, a safe one. We look forward to speaking to you. All right, thank you. Thank you. Stay right there, folks. Come right back. If you're looking for potential trading setups in the stock market, then Rocket Equities and Options Report is a newsletter you should try. Tommy O'Brien delivers options and equity trades when the markets present them using a combination of fundamentals and technicals. Sign up for Rocket Equities and Options Report today with a 30-day money-back guarantee so you have nothing to risk. For all the details and to start your subscription today, visit the front page of TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know, and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Biotech is booming, but for how long? Whether you think the biotech bull has room to run or has run its course, trade LABU or LABD. Direction's daily S&P Biotech three times bull and bear ETFs. Visit directioninvestments.com slash biotech today.
An investor should consider the investment objectives, risks, charges, and expenses of the direction shares carefully before investing. The prospectus and summary prospectus contain this and other information about direction shares. To obtain a prospectus or summary prospectus, please contact direction shares at 866-476-7523. The prospectus or summary prospectus should be read carefully before investing. An investment in the funds is subject to risk, including the possible loss of principal. The funds are designed to be utilized only by sophisticated investors such as traders and active investors. Distributor Foresight Fund Services, LLC. Tigers and Tigresses, get ready for our annual 4th of July Tiger Dollar Sale. From now until July 7th, you can receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus when you purchase Tiger Dollars. Tiger Dollars are automatically applied to your account and can be used for all subscriptions and purchases. Don't wait, this sale ends July 7th. Visit TFNN.com today to purchase Tiger Dollars and receive a 20, 30, or even a 40% bonus. As an added bonus, every order comes with a special TFNN mug. Happy 4th, Tigers! TFNN, educating investors. This program is brought to you by Vista Gold, traded on the NYSE American and TSX under the symbol VGZ. I'm O'Brien. Welcome back, folks. The Dow. Dow Industrials right now down 366. You get the NASDAQ off 120. S&Ps are off 39. Let me show you something on this uh, S&P. So now this is strictly for folks that basically trade. If you're trading the one day S and P options, folks. Right? The when you have something like this, okay. So picture this. You, and you know what has happened? I traded. Oh my God. I don't know if it was hundreds of thousands, but it was probably that close of OEX options. So I'm very used to options expiring very quickly. But anyway, here, yeah, this is the theory. It's not the theory. This is how you trade this, okay? I'm not, I'm not telling you to do it right now. I'm suggesting you do it right now. But I want to show you what can be done when you talk about risk-reward in a very large way. And what you have is this. So picture that you have, I'll put the SPY up for a second. So you, you get the SPY up, right? And intraday... I always trade spreads. That's what I do. I don't. I, I basically traded a bull or bear spread. That's what I'm trading most of the time. Because if the market doesn't move, you're going to make money. Period. Market moves. If you pick the right way, you're going to do all right. You're going to make money also. So in this particular case, we put the spy up, right? Now this is different because with, you're coming into the last hour, right? We just took out the B point, right? You can see this. You took out the B point right there. You know, the, the B point needed uh, 894,000. You, you took it out here with uh, 960, right? So you can see right here, when it, take, it took it out, you're trading basically between the three, the 439.54 and the 440, right? Well, what happens because you only have an hour left in the marketplace, right? You can actually buy, a f now pitch this, you buy a 441, now, 441, folks, okay, is a um, dollar, let's say, 30 out of the marketplace, okay? But when you have an ABC structure, say, hey, hey, man, it's, to me, it's worth the shot. The reason being is that a 441 is only three cents right now. A three cents is 30 bucks per, per thousand shares, man. <laughs> so just keep that in mind because if you got to run today, it doesn't look to me like it's going to happen. It's probably going to be, they'll set up for a nice trade tomorrow morning. But bottom line is that always keep that in mind because you can basically, the risk versus the reward is really dramatic. And, you know, if you, if you got it, the bottom line is that, you know, that three cents, what? You know, you can sell it at 20, whatever, whatever that is. Do you know what I'm saying? It's whatever you think that is. But ABC structures, intraday on the way up or on the way down are very powerful. When you put that together with understanding options and understanding the theta in them as the day goes on, um, it's an El Primo. Because what does happen with all of them, meaning intraday, is that they, they, they don't start really decaying big time about till about 12.30, 1 o'clock. 1 o'clock, that's when, that's when that baby will start going down. When you get something in the last hour, it's a whole different ball game, man. It's a whole different ball game. 
And, you know, anyway, take it for what it's worth. Let's go take a look at some of the higher volume equities out here today. We have uh, Tesla's down five and a half bucks. You get, well, let's go do it this way. Let's go to the NDX. We take a look at the NDX. You got, what is this one? Oh, uh, Keurig Dr. Pepper. Okay, Keurig Dr. Pepper. I haven't seen that for a while. That's up one and a half percent. Charter Communications is up nine tenths of one percent. ADP is up eight tenths. Taken away from it, Mercado Libre is down seven. Pin, uh, Pindor Duel uh, is off uh, five and a half. You got Lucent off four and a half, and Zoom is off four and a half also. We go to the Dow Industrials. We take a look at the strength versus the weakness inside the Dow. There's only two stocks in the Dow Industrials that are in the positive right now, and that's going to be Microsoft putting 18 positive points, Apple putting uh, one and a half, taking them, uh, the big one taken away from it, Home Depot. That's minus 52. You get Goldman minus 45, America Express minus 32. Let's get over to Home Depot and just take a look, because this thing's been on a run, man. Okay, so you're backing down. Yeah, you're backing down at the strength. You're back down with some ball. Well, no, not really. Four? Yeah, no. You're backing down 2.7 million versus 4.4. .4. So you don't have a rejection of lower price right now, but that's, that's, not a bad, that's not a bad back down, no doubt about that. Let's go take a look at the oil markets, CLA, which is the active contract. Active contract right now. Okay, 377,000 contracts. That's good contract volume. So it still wants the highs out here. You know, the, anywhere between the 74, 65. Yeah. And then we go to the XLE. We take a look at the XLE. Man, there's some divergence, so that's backing down. And that has volume. This XLE has volume. Look at this. That's 18 million. 18 million is going into 16, so that's not good. That's, yeah. Uh, they're, they're unloading that. And what you have with the XLE is that you did not make a higher high. You know, the last high that we had up in there in the XLE was at the 82.51, and we only made it up to uh, 81.97. And the XLF. We take a look at these financials. What do you have inside the financials? Yeah, financials rejected lower price. Yeah. So that came down. That still has to get above 33.53. We're at 33.50 right now, but that, that got down to the 33.25. It did reject lower price. So this is going to be pretty cool watching this whole thing shake out because what you do, you, you, you know, if you just listened to the, the Tim Ward sec, uh, sector um, segment, folks, um, those ratios that he have are so cool because one, it's not that, you know, you're not just looking at one. What you're doing is you're looking at a few of them, you're lining them up and you're saying, okay, what is the probability? Is the probability, you know, that we're getting to a high, the probability we're getting to a low? Um, you know, this morning, uh, the bottom line is that you can see it quite clearly and well, the way to do this here, watch this. I'll just show you this quickly again. So you can see the DAX. See the DAX right there? The DAX, that was down 2.57 for the day. Now, in the morning, it wasn't down as much as that. So when I was calculating, I said, oh, we're going to do 50 S&P points. We did 61. Now watch. Then you take 61 and you say, okay, where was the last time with volume on the way down? And I'm not just saying that, okay, the market wants to go up. I'm saying that because of the fact that all the other ratios are still saying that you want to go to a high. Well, you can see quite clearly that the last time that the market had volume on the way down was at 44.35, and in fact, we went to 44.19. So that's like as cool as you can get, man. <laughs> because it's like, you know, that, you see that happen a lot. But the bottom line is that, you know, when things turn and, you know, the, the first place it goes to is the big volume, and then it has a tough time making it through it, which it did at uh, 12.30 this afternoon, back down with light volume, finally got by it, and you're still really dealing with it. You're two points above it right now. But I do expect that, you know, this thing wants, still wants to run a bit. I don't think I'm going to get the, the 441, but you never know, man. Stay right there, folks. You come right back. We have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now uh, down 350. NASDAQ uh, 
off the 111, S&P's off 36, we're coming right back. Are you looking for a way to consistently add winning trades to your portfolio? Tom O'Brien is here to help. Tom O'Brien has been successfully trading markets for over 30 years. A frequent contributor to TD Ameritrade Network and CNBC, Tom O'Brien founded TFNN over 20 years ago to help educate investors just like you. Tom's daily market newsletter, Market Insights, is published every morning when the markets open to give you the competitive informational edge you need to succeed. These newsletters are packed full of Tom's advanced technical analysis and are geared to deliver comprehensive strategies for a successful portfolio. Get Tom O'Brien's newsletter, Market Insights, today and try all of our products and newsletters 30 days risk-free with our money-back guarantee at TFNN.com. TFNN, educating investors. You might think that if you want to be successful at trading in the stock market, you're going to need a crystal ball. After all, it's impossible to predict the future, right? Like any endeavor in life, before you decide it's impossible, get some advice from the experts. You might find that it's not so impossible after all. For daily market overviews that give you direction on the key indices, selective stocks, and commodities, subscribe to the opening call newsletter at TFNN.com. The opening call newsletter is written by Basil Chapman, creator of the trading methodology known as the Chapman Wave. The Chapman Wave up-down sequence gives you an edge in identifying price turns, finding the peaks and valleys in stock prices. Get the opening call newsletter by Basil Chapman in your inbox every day. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. TFNN.com, educating investors. Everything in the universe is governed by the Fibonacci sequence. This mathematical principle is responsible for everything from the most aesthetically pleasing artwork to patterns in the stock market. To stay on top of stock patterns you can take advantage of, sign up for the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter at TFNN.com. When you subscribe, you'll get a weekly report from veteran day trader Larry Pesavento on stocks you need to pay attention to. And you can trust Larry's analysis. After all, he's got 45 years experience as a day trader. Larry will also provide daily charts, videos, and data on the key markets that he's tracking. Expect notifications from Larry on market movement you need to act on at any time. First-time subscribers also get a 30-day money-back guarantee. If you're not satisfied, let us know and you'll get a full refund within 30 days of signing up. Subscribe to the Fibonacci 24-7 newsletter today. TFNN.com. Educating investors. Don't forget, you can listen to TFNN live on your mobile device 24 hours per day. Go to TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. That's TFNN.com, then hit Watch Tiger TV. Welcome back, folks. Uh, we have the Dow. Dow Industrials right now. Whoops, let's do that one. Dow Industrials right now trading down uh, 364. We have the... You have the NASDAQ down 110, S&Ps are off 36. And folks, as you come over to our website at TFNN, uh, to, we're wrapping this baby up tomorrow. Uh, if you want to save money on the products that you have at TFNN right now, or you plan on buying any in the future, well, we have our Tiger Dollar Sale. We do this twice a year. We do it first of the year on July 4th. And the way that works is that if you have products right now or looking at products in the future, uh, you can buy 500 Tiger Dollars and you get 600, which is a 20% bonus. You can buy 1,000 and that gets you a $300 bonus, or 1,300, which is a 30% bonus. And the max is 1,500. You can buy 1,500, you get 2,100. That's $600 bonus. That's a 40% bonus. Tiger Dollars are good for our product at TFNN, totally transferable, no expiration date, all of the above. So check it out. Uh, bottom line, that sale ends tomorrow. Market-wise out here, bottom line is that, yeah, you got, a, you got a down market. 
you're going to have light volume, you're going to have a rejection of lower price, and that just says that, come, it, well, we have uh, jobs numbers tomorrow, that's telling me whatever the jobs number come in, the ADP numbers come in today, and they changed the way the ADP numbers go anyway, so the bottom line was they were huge numbers. You're not going to see that in the jobs numbers tomorrow. We had, there was 500 and something thousand. Uh, I suspect it's going to be 250, 300,000 ADP. But bottom line, as you can see, you rejected lower price out here. So that sets up the highs once again. So we'll see how that maybe shakes out. And the Qs, you're talking about 372.85 inside the SPY. You know, hit the SPY at 437 or 439.81 right now. Bottom line, you know, the high out here. Yeah, you get another high volume high, man, at 444.30. Gift from the trading gods. You're gonna love it. Always remember, folks, the bear can claw your heart out, the bull can run you over, and thank God, there's always another trade. Health, happiness, and prosperity. Have a great night, folks. Have a safe night. Come back and visit Tommy tomorrow morning. Kicks us off 9 a.m. Great show, folks. Look at him, folks.